We want to welcome in our next guest live in studio today, Danielle Kaiser. She's the artistic director at Sage Dance Collective. Welcome back yeah. to First at Thanks Four. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. nice Thrilled to see you. Back. Yeah. <laughs> You've got a really interesting, I don't know, what do you call it? Do you call it a program? Do you call it a dance? What, what do you call your concerts that you yeah. put together? We have a, a, our main stage production, production. Uh, for, for our company. Um, and we had a, a really amazing collaboration this season. Um, we're a newer company, and so we haven't had the opportunity to really reach out in the community, and that's something that's very near and dear to our hearts and the mission of the company. Um, so I knew through a family member in the Pittsburgh area that the Center for Hearing and Deaf Services had opened up a branch location here in Erie. Um, and so far the company has been um, kind of focusing on creating connection between people and creating connection between our company and people in our community. So we thought that kind of focusing on the deaf and hard of hearing community and ASL and all the, all the things that are encompassed in that could just be a really cool way to continue on with the message that we've been sending over the last couple of years. Yeah. Because that's really what you do. It's through movement that you right. yeah. communicate you know, your message. It was such a natural connection to, to start learning more about ASL and, and how much facial expressions are incorporated in that and body mm -hmm. language. Mm -hmm. Because that is something when you get up on stage and you're dancing, you can't just get up there like a zombie and you know mm -hmm. kind of do the movement how you interact with the audience through your face and through your body language is just as important so it was just a really um, easy connection for at least our dancers to make when we first started talking about this um, just sort of how to incorporate the concepts the themes and ASL all into pieces of choreography for the season will the style of the show be any different to the average participant viewer um, different only in that we are a multi-genre dance company so if anyone has come and seen what we've done in the fall and in the winter that incorporated a lot of point work some jazz work um, little snippets of tap here and there this program is 100 percent contemporary dance okay. um, so that's it's something that still falls in our wheelhouse but it's not as varied as a typical program might be for our company mm -hmm. and it's i like the name interaction yeah explain that a little yeah. bit interaction is this concept that um, something wouldn't have happened if two people or two entities hadn't come together mm -hmm. um, and so for us this show couldn't have happened if we hadn't um, created this connection with the Center for Hearing and Deaf Services um, and really the information that they gave us we could have never in a million years accurately and truthfully displayed that through choreography and through what the company is doing so the the term was created by one of our founders or was fa uh, she found it for us I should say she didn't create it um, and it just kind of really fit perfectly with with what we were working on. Mm -hmm. So talk a little bit about those performances. You have several this weekend, right? We do. I'm yep. I'm going to tech tonight. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it never stops. Uh, but we open tomorrow night. It's down at the H.O. Hurt Auditorium um, in the Maritime Museum. Um, and we have a show on Friday evening at 7 p.m., um, another one Saturday at 2 p.m., and then again Saturday evening we close at 7 p.m. Terrific. Yep. And this is obviously open to the public, but also uh, for those hard of hearing or deaf, uh, really the invitation is strong. It was important to us uh, to make this event accessible, especially because of our collaboration. So we will have ASL interpreters present for every performance um, so that all the talking that's taking place can be easily um, translated. And that's something that um, in our community, it's it's not something that you see as commonly, especially in arts performances, mm -hmm. as having interpreters available. So it was really important for us to kind of start that conversation for right. our field. And That's where can folks go to get more information about your dance company? They can visit our website, sagedancecollective.org. Um, you can go, our performance is a banner across the top of our website, so very easy to find tickets. We're also selling tickets at the door, um, and our social media is extremely active. So we're always posting you know, new ways to kind of get involved with the company or come in and learn some, some new dance and kind of experience something new. Great. Thanks yeah. for being here, Thank Danielle. Thank you so yeah. much. Good luck yeah. to see you Thank again. you. Yeah. Thank you. We'll be right back.